So you guys heard of Red Roof Inn? Yes. Yeah, it's like a motel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a popular chain. They are currently facing lawsuits from sex trafficking victims. <gasps> say the hotel chain ignored obvious signs that these women were being trafficked oh, in order to protect its profits. Because it was like probably in a hooker area. Yeah. And they're like, we can't lose our customers. It's in the hooker hot zone yeah. is what they're, they call it. <laughs> Yeah. They're like, if we tell on all the hookers, that means all of our customers are going to be gone. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Isn't it kind of scary, though? You, you pick over money over morals yeah. these days. A lot of people just so their company can survive mm -hmm. in this world. Not us. We opened this video saying fuck within the first 35 seconds. Yeah, we'll, we'll never promise. compromise who we are. Yeah. I didn't know traffickers were such a big fan of Red Roof Inn. Apparently, it's very cheap. $40 on night. Like nice nice room. Nationwide or just one location that's getting... Oh, it's a bunch of the, uh, there's at least 42 federal lawsuits underway against the hotel chain and its franchises. Jeez. Hundreds of victims are in the process of filing legal action, according to attorneys working on their cases. Maybe that's their market that they're trying to target. Yeah. In a really fucked up way. Underage um, victims. Well, it's oh. in a way where people could do short term stays, right? It's like, yeah. they probably make tons of money off that. They're like, hey, let's just keep rolling it. Let's sure. keep opening up our places in really lower income shady areas where people get trafficked and let's just well, turn a blind eye. Families that just want to stay somewhere for a week and shit. <laughs> Imagine you go there, you're just like, what the fuck? Is non stop next fucking next door. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, they're nice rooms. So okay. that's good. Yeah. At least the, there's that. Hell no. <laughs> Blue light that, black light it everywhere, bro. So <laughs> some of the victims were underage at the time. They accused the company of allowing its rooms to be rented on a grand scale to sex traffickers who forced them into commercial sex work and controlled nearly every aspect of their lives. Wow. Shout out Red Roof Inn. They claim the signs of their trafficking were so obvious they could not have been missed by the company. Their lawsuits are littered with references to malnourished and underage girls and women under the control of pimps oh. who conducted their business in front of hotel staff, oh. renting numerous hotel rooms where male customers would came in, went night after night. Wow. Oh. Nobody's saying so what's they up. Knew. They were probably throwing them money and shit too. Like actually. Could be. Yeah. Maybe the cops that are, instead of hiding behind like a sign with the radar gun, they should just kick it in hotel parking lots maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Legit. Some like real motherfuckers. Is this considered a motel? Yeah. It's considered an inn. And what's the difference a between motel? a hotel and a motel? Motels are motor hotels. So, they so to the parking lot, right? It's facing out, and then yeah, there's a parking lot, and then so it's like you could pull up real quick, and then the door is facing out. Mm -hmm. Hotel's like a building, and it's inside. I never knew that. Yeah. Yeah. Now I know. What's a hostel? A hostel, it's for homeless people that think they're traveling. <laughs> <laughs> the lawsuits also have revealed that a senior Red Roof in employee joked about the presence of pimps and hoes at one of the hotels under his management. Oh, no. Yeah. I bet they see so much, they can clearly tell who they are, but they're probably just like, I'm just here to do my job, so whatever, if they're paying, I'm just gonna check them in. Yeah. Cause dude, imagine having to tell a pimp, like you can't rent here. Mm -hmm. Like what the fuck is gonna happen there, dude? And you're just a guy who just works the front desk. And you already saw him beat up some other person. You're like, fuck, do I want to yeah. get beat up? Yeah. Do I want to get slapped like one of his hoes? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're thinking. They're like, dude's just fucking doing his homework, trying to be a fucking uh, uh, like CNA or something. Like just doing his fucking nursing schooling. Trying to get by in life. Trying not to get smacked. Yeah. Yeah, and then the pimp comes in. Hey, the listen technique. here, hustler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need like eight about them rooms, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and he started like talking in rhymes and shit, cause you know pimps are really smooth with their, yeah. with their wording. Their wordplay for sure. Yeah. We're easy. We got pimps to this day, man. Yeah. So according to Stephen Babin, he's an attorney who's representing close to 1,000 sex trafficking victims in cases involving the Red Roof Inn. He said that the sex trafficking had reached an epidemic level across the hotel chain and estimated the true number of victims to be many in the thousands. Wow. In the many thousands. They intentionally ignored the problem of human sex trafficking in its hotels and completely failed to put any meaningful policies and procedures in place. Instead, their focus was on one thing. What was it, Subin? Money. Yeah, there it is. I don't even know if I could tell someone's being sex trafficked or not. I bet you could. Yeah. They say like malnourished like and young girls is usually pretty good to tell. Mm. But Whoops. if they look like the same kind of like ethnic background, don't you go like, oh, that's a family? 
What's My family's like, like that, probably. I don't know. A pimp is very, very distinct. distinct. You know what they look like. Yeah. Leopard print. Using Got a, a cane. Big gemstone on their yeah. cane. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's or a snake hair, head. You know? <laughs> Leopard print suit. They're very loud. They wear the Party City <laughs> pimp costume. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a dead giveaway. Maybe like a pocket watch with a chain. Yeah. yeah. Driving a Cadillac. Yeah. And they're a white guy smiling. Yeah. <laughs> Party City guy. <laughs> Man. That's crazy. That's, that's, that's pretty scary. Yeah, that yeah. Sucks. So, like, um, what are some of your guys' favorite hotel chains? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody big I'm double chain? Hotel Six is probably like, hey, we dodged a big <laughs> one. Oh, yeah, like, Woo. Yeah. Or they're next, dude. I'm like, oh, why Red Roof Inn when I feel like all these motels be doing shit like this? Yeah. Marriott, yeah, Hilt yeah. Uh, Hilton, Hilton. Yeah. One Marriott's of our Marriott's cool. Marriott. I like Marriott. Yeah, Marriott's are cool. Yeah, like Marriott's. This old gym we used to work at was, well, it's in Pasadena, and it's by all these like, kind of not sh a chain uh, motels, oh, yeah. Yeah. but they're hella sketch, dude. And really? you see like all kinds of funny business going in and out. Like you're seeing um, what do they call them? Tricks. People turn to tricks mm -hmm. or Johns customers. Yeah. That's what they call yeah. them. You see them walking in and out, and you see like these ladies on the street, and you're like, dude, there's. And you see cops there every other night. Oh shit! So or like ambulances. So it's like you can, even from from a couple blocks away, you're like, oh, there's some funny shit going on over there. There's this one page. <laughs> we, we nailed it though. We That's what it. they look like. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Clearly, when you look for when someone's dressing like that, you know it's always white guys being pimps for Halloween. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. That's so true. You know, spinning the cane around. Yeah, Yo, player, let me rent the room. <laughs> <laughs> well, and they, they have their chick dressed as the hoe. Yeah, yeah. That's the funniest part. <laughs> Because they live in such a detached reality that they would never ever exist in a world where they would have to do such a thing. <laughs> like these exist? I thought so it was just fair. It is solely hilarious. <laughs> and that's my favorite part. That's insane, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this is just in the movies, it's not yeah, real. That's right. You guys ever watch that <clears throat> cop channel where they're finding people? They're like wait for freaking people to pull up asking to prostitute. The, the detectives dressed as that. a prostitute. Yeah, the sting ones. Yeah, sting. Yeah. Usually at like churches and shit. That's my favorite part. Yeah. There was a one where this guy was out. There was a church, and this guy's like pulling up, and he's a pastor, and he's like yeah. trying to get a blowjob or whatever. I and think that's, like, you're under arrest, and he starts crying immediately. I think that's why they stopped it because the people that are coming in are actually like. Oh yeah. Love the community. People Always. Love, I remember the there was one guy in I think it was Oklahoma City or St. Louis or whatever, but all he did was just catch Johns. Like as soon as he gets into the car with a hooker, he would pull up and then have a camera in the back seat. And then he would catch pastors, he would catch, just, you know how they're doing that shit now with yeah. pedals? Yeah. But like independently people are streaming, yep. like whatever. But this was like early YouTube days. That's what I've been seeing a lot of those. I saw Everyone's doing that now. Bradley Martin, something yeah. like, like some guy that worked at Disney or something like yeah. that. Yeah. I was like, God damn. Hey, if this channel ever goes to shit, we'll probably we'll just have to do that. Yeah, we'll just catch that. pedos. I love the ones too where they're they're, they're they're slapping the fuck out of them. Are hitting them though? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw one yesterday where they cha where they chased a guy out of like a out of like a Best Buy because he was gonna meet up with somebody, and they started pushing him across like he was sprinting to the entrance, and they kept shoving him. He got up and started running again. And they caught him. They caught, They kept slapping him. And his one random black dude was like, "Hey, what's going on over here?" He's like, "He's a pet. He's a predator. He was trying to meet up with the child." He's like, "Yo, let me get in on this." <laughs> he started slapping the fuck out of this dude. <laughs> let me get in on this. Yo, let me get in. On I was like, "That's that's community." Yeah. Community punishment. Like that. I'm hopping in. in my heart. Nobody I'm likes pedophiles. <laughs> did you see I'm the one? In. Did you see the one where the um, the the guy is same thing? He's He's confronting a, 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 a pedo or whatever, alleged. And this white lady comes out of nowhere and she's like, I, I just want to make sure this brown person is, is protected and safe. Oh my God, I saw that. that. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> Yo. She was like pissed. Yeah. She's like, I yeah. just want to make sure I'm worried for this brown person. You're like, okay, you want to protect the pedophile? Yeah, she was down. She, yeah, they, she didn't care what the fuck they were saying. No, she, she had, just, but that's the thing. She had no idea what no idea. he did. Yeah. No. And she's over here like, I'm just making sure 
this brown person is protected. Yeah. And I'm just like, yo, you gotta be honest. Well, he's a public defender. A Nobody said that, dude. We yeah, have true. people white like savior. that. We have people yeah. like that here in America. That's insane. What's with white women right now, man? They're losing white, it. White women are going nuts right now. Losing it. They're, they're, they're like, not on my watch. Ever they're since like, COVID, they're just like, yeah. like that's true. they're how you're trying to save minorities. Yeah. Someone's gotta do it. You think they're gonna do it? I don't think so. <laughs> I think they're they're well, they're doing it the worst COVID. ways. <laughs> I think they finally watched some shit about like what really went down in America and they got shocked and they're like, oh, I can't believe I was a part of the problem. Yeah. And it's like, bitch, we've been dealing with this shit. And she goes, I have to do something about it now because I wasn't doing anything before. Yeah. But it's like so misguided and yeah, stupid. Brother. It's like, let me go protect a fucking criminal and a pedophile because why? You're still being racist because you're still fucking just judging them based on their skin color. Yeah, you're not being, yeah. <laughs> you're still being fucking racist. You're actually being more racist than you were before. Yeah. <laughs> and they usually are, dude. Yeah, 100%. <laughs>